Our top story, a blinding dust storm. Several people are dead, many more injured after multiple crashes along I-55 in central Illinois. Nothing in my 24 year career that I can recall having something as severe as this. Unbelievable images tonight out of Montgomery and Sangamon counties. Dozens of trucks and cars left mangled on the highway, hidden under a cloud of dust. Good evening, I'm Mike Bush. And I'm Ann Allred. At least six people are dead. Investigators are blaming excessive winds from blowing dirt from nearby farm fields across the highway, and that caused zero visibility. Tonight, I-55 remains closed in both directions for a 17-mile stretch between Farmersville and Divernon, just south of Springfield. It could remain closed for several more hours. Our Laura Barczewski is in Montgomery County with the latest. Nearly 45 mile an hour winds picked up dirt and debris from farm fields that stretch along I-55 and swirled it onto the road, blinding drivers instantly, causing a deadly chain reaction crash in the north and southbound lanes. Approximately 30 commercial motor vehicles and 40 to 60 passenger cars were involved. This includes two truck tractor semi trailers that caught fire as a result of the crashes. Around 11 on Monday morning, Penny Robb and her friend were driving from Wisconsin down to Mississippi when they suddenly found themselves in the middle of the pileup, stuck for hours. They checked in with us over the phone as they continued their trip. At first, we thought there was like a fire or some sort. We didn't think there was going to be such a dust storm. And then um, the closer we approached it, um, the visibility just continually got worse and then all of a sudden it was just a complete blackout. Rob says she was able to guide their car into the median just in time as she heard the crashes happen one by one all around them. And several vehicles and even the semis that had jackknifed, um, you know, by slamming on their brakes or trying to avoid, you know, any accidents. You know, there were cars down in the median that obviously were hit or struck and then just drove right down into there. Yeah, I mean, airbags were deploying all around us. They were some of the few lucky ones who escaped without a scratch. More than 30 people from ages 2 to 80 years old were transported to four area hospitals with minor to life-threatening injuries. At least six people didn't make it. My heart goes out to, their, to the families. My heart goes out to anybody that found themselves involved in this particular situation. Now that the dust and smoke has cleared, you can see what's left of this horrific and deadly crash. Illinois State Police say this cleanup is what's been the most time consuming. There's fuel on the road. In addition, there's car parts, truck parts from tractor trailers and all sorts of vehicles. And of course, dozens of those vehicles to haul off. VIDOT assess the roadway to make sure that the roadway is safe so we can open up I-55 to get motorists back, back on their way. Police say it's going to take days to fully investigate the crash. More than 30 agencies are helping, and officials hope to reopen the highway sometime tomorrow. Tonight, many are wondering what caused the large dust cloud today. Was it a natural phenomenon or man-made? Weather First Chief Meteorologist Scott Connell joins us now with the answer. Scott? Well, you know, it's growing season. We've started to see everything blooming and blossoming. In the last couple of weeks, we've seen relatively dry weather around St. Louis. That's allowed the farmers to work the fields, as they would do to prepare for planting. And with growing season upon us, that means that soil has been freshly tilled. Winds today, the peak gusts, 40 to 50 miles per hour across a good chunk of the region. Those gusts from around 11 o'clock this morning through the early afternoon hours were gusting between 40 and 45 miles per hour along this stretch of Interstate 55, north of Farmersville, up through Divernon, and south of Springfield. Those strong winds, the recent dry weather, that recently tilled field, and all of them, this is a highly agricultural area, allowed that dust to be picked up and blown around. And with that today, we saw visibilities greatly reduced. And obviously, a lot of folks not expecting that. These are the